beautiful muses and welcome to Cosmo Muse Tarot. Today we have our August 2023 outlook where we're going to sort of look at where we're starting and where we're going, kind of the, the challenges and journeys coming up that will have you sort of progressing from one place to another as you move through the month. So with this crystal Oracle deck, we are going to choose four piles for today for this reading. Ooh. Well, we've got one blue lace agate. That one wanted to flip out. Aventurine. Create your own luck. Celestite, Soothe Your Soul, and Malachite, which is interesting because I've got Malachite in this um, little dish of water with this orchid, so that's interesting confirmation. And I like, we've got kind of like two really light ethereal kind of purple and blue colors and then two really bold green, green colors here. So definitely seeing a theme. So the pile one, just to reiterate, blue lace agate. I'll put this up, find your calm. Pile two, adventuring, create your own luck. Pile three, Celestite, Soothe Your Soul. And four, Malachite, It's Time to Transform. Okay, so for those of you that have your own process for choosing your piles, you can go ahead and pause here and jump down to the timestamps in the descriptions. Uh, if you are someone that likes the breath work I do to help you get into a good space for feeling into which pile is yours, we will jump into that breath work now. So place your feet firmly on the ground. Feel that stability underfoot. And now take a deep breath into your body, kind of embodying into yourself, wading into yourself, really grounding into yourself. And hold that breath. Now exhale. And this time take another breath in, but pull that air up, up, up into the space between your eyes, or the space between your brows, I should say. Hold that. Suck in a little more to add pressure. Hold. And exhale out loud opening up the crown chakra. And now gaze over these four piles, these four groups, and ask which one has your aligned message about your August 2023. All right, I'll see you guys in your readings. Hello, pile one. You guys chose this beautiful blue lace agate with Find Your Calm. So this is going to kind of be the anchor point for the energy of your month, kind of the thing that's pushing you to um, sort of progress through the month and shift from one way of being to another, what your journey through the month is sort of oriented around is finding your calm. So I don't know, you know, it's potential that a lot of you are starting this month out feeling a little bit like wound up or something um, and sort of needing to do some things to um, feel a little bit more soothed, a little bit more in a flow that's gentle. But let's see, we're going to pick some um, animal oracle cards or animal archetypes to kind of show the energy of where you are and the energy of where August is um, shifting your energy toward. Um, so it's a little, it kind of shows sort of an arc of, of energy you'll be going through through the month. 
So starting out with Crocodile and being sort of pushed due to the influence of August toward the Panther. Very interesting. So I'm already getting a sense that for you guys, I think there's something you're really honing in on, um, really getting more clarity about in terms of patterns you have or patterns you've um, oriented your life within that um, you're just feeling aren't quite right or just like something something is bugging you about how I don't know why the words the flow of your day um, keeps coming up like something's bugging you about the flow of your day potentially and so starting out in August you're like really stepping back really observing this really um, working to you know tapping into this keyword of find or key phrase of find your calm that's what i feel like this this crocodile is about as you anchor into august it's like you're trying to find your calm so that you can get a much better kind of like overview of what is like because I don't think you understand what it is that's bothering you. There's just like something that's bothering you. Um, kind of about your day to day, kind of about your general flow of life. And it may have to do with your ability to create sort of calm environments or calm disposition or calm centering. And so it's like you're working really hard as you step into August to yeah, get into that calm place and observe what that feels like, observe what you need to do to have more of that in your life, really looking for some like divine openings, divine timing of really understanding how to reorient some things, how to nurture some things in your life, especially yourself, to feel that that even that you deserve this calmness. Um, but it could have a lot to do with like observing your nervous system. We have these nervous systems that have patterning in them. And you know, a lot of us in this modern world, especially with like social media and things that are really quick scrolling and death scrolls, um, that could have you just sort of, um, your nervous system kind of patterned and wired to be sort of like too onto the next, onto the next, onto the next, like unable to focus. And it's like, I feel like you're really trying to be aware of that more stepping into this month and really seeing that from a bigger kind of higher plane of existence and really getting a hold of like, where your triggers are and getting into this like need for your nervous system to be on um, that that sympathetic nervous system that's you know kind of hurried and excitable um, and that can put us into fight or flight but in general it just has us a bit wound up and I feel like, yeah, you're, you're trying to step back. You're trying to observe this about yourself. You're trying to see your patterning around it. What are the things that trip this into overdrive, overwhelm? Um, yeah, and I think this crocodile is actually, you know, that energy, like you're coming into this month with a really new, wise, mature objective or agenda of like, I need to understand how this is affecting my life, how I can shift this, and you will, you'll be able to see this. The more you can kind of step back, try to turn off those things that are, that get you into overdrive and just like really observe what it's like to be in a more calm space and how that affects you and how that affects the wiring of your focus, your nervous energy, all of that. And I think you're gonna see some really powerful things 
that are really going to have you putting effort by the end of August into confronting and annihilating patterns that have you too wound up, too anxious, too needing to be in the flow of information and on constantly. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's just a general you know, thing I'm feeling. It's like this is the month to really get your eye on what is it that you want in your day-to-day -day life to feel more calm? Observe what that feels like. Observe what is disturbing that. And then push into the work of really shifting, really confronting some patterns and really annihilating some patterns that, yeah, that just have you not ever really feeling present and calm and um, focused and at peace, that kind of thing. Okay, so we are going to pick a couple more cards to get a little bit more, um, depth and context to each side of this. We've got leadership. Very interesting over on the crocodile side. And on the panther side, we've got gateway. Okay, so what I'm feeling here is I think the thing that's pushing you into the crocodile mode is it seems like you're stepping into like a new maturing phase in your life and recognizing that in order to really ripen an aspect of yourself and really be able to take control of and be a leader in your day-to-day -day life, in your work, in just how you create flow in your life, like a leadership over yourself is what I feel. It's like a self-mastery, which develops some, some leadership. It develops this, um, this thing in you that other people then want to um, tune into, use you as like a tuning fork to help them be a little bit more self-masterful. Um, and I feel like that's that's maybe where this is coming from. It's like you're you're realizing that it's time to mature something about um, being more present, being more calm, being more focused, um, to gain a little bit more mastery over your flow of your day to day, over the flow of your energy, over your nervous system. Um, so that's I feel like where on like a deeper, even unconscious level this is coming from. And as you start to see certain patterns that you want to confront and annihilate, it is going to shift your energy. It is going to like by the end of August, it, it will, you know, as we shift our own energy, the outside world starts to mirror that back to us. And I think by the end of August, you're really going to see something about that. This is possibly something you've actually been working on for many months or even a year, I would say. And I think that it's like you're finally seeing some things with a, a new depth of clarity and finding that courage to confront certain things. And by the end of August, you're really going to start seeing your outer world mirroring back to you all the work and effort you've put into, yeah, finding that deeper focus, calm presence, um, and daily flow that feels um, right to you, that feels like it's the right speed, the right depth, the right everything for your particular orientation. Yeah, really cool. Okay, let's get a few more Oracle cards to see a little bit about the journey from this crocodile to panther energy. We've got blessed, beautiful, building blocks, I'm filling this top one, mending. Yes, I love this. Um, 
Yeah, I I do. I feel you coming into such a better kind of mindful place in your life that allows you to see your life better. It allows you to see the flow of things better. It allows you then to manifest better because you're sitting in like a much higher view, a much more elevated view of where you're going, what you want, um, what's important to you. And it's through finding this calmer energy and it's bringing in some blessings. It's bringing you um, not just blessings, but it's bringing you foresight and vision about how, you know, what are some goals that you think you really could flourish uh, by focusing on and working on and starting to, yeah, really lay down some plans, some efforting, some focus on something that is bringing you more mastery, self-mastery, but also just mastery in general in the world. Mastery over your fate, mastery over your direction, mastery over what you want. Yeah, it's like you're, you're coming to this elevated place, you're seeing with much more vision through your calm that's coming in, which is allowing you to build with integrity. And in this building process, um, as you build with new energy, with new kind of foresight and maturity, that process at the like simultaneously is helping you to mend certain parts of yourself that got a little bit, um, I wanna say fractured, a little bit um, beat up, roughed up in this, you know, time of ours that has us kind of like in this just 24 hour information cycles it, it's I think it's done a number on a lot of us in being able to like really be in ourselves um, and be okay with a more calm sort of presence and a more calm trajectory and something about that's really mending it's gorgeous to see Okay, let's go one level deeper, kind of from the elemental realm, a message from that realm on what they're seeing about this trajectory. So we've got inner core, solidity. Yeah, you're finding your core. You're finding your core balance, which is bringing a much deeper calm into your life. And you're seeing where certain hurried things, um, how it um, more than being in the know and being in that pace of life how that's like an illusion of like you need to keep up or something and it's not actually it's it's actually putting all of us behind and you're seeing something about this and you're coming back to your inner very solid core and really knowing how to discern and distill what is important and create a little bit more focus and maturity around really specific things. And then joy music. Yeah, and it's helping you to find those channels of flow and inspiration because if you can be calm and you can be solid in your core you can be a little bit more surrendered to divine timing, to what the universe is wanting to push you toward. Instead of like just being in this constant rush, you kind of miss those cues. But when you're really present, you're really in yourself, you're really, you know, finding a certain calmness, it's so much easier to notice when the universe is trying to direct you in certain ways. And there may literally be something about music that helps you to get into this space. And I'm seeing an octave, and um, you're raising an octave this month because we go from 18 to 28. And I know octave is actually like um, eight steps above one place, but this to me just feels like that. Um, raising a level, raising an octave, um, talking music. Yeah, I do. I feel like I'm supposed to talk musically about this. You're raising an octave by the end of this month. 
um, and really knowing how and what to be present to mm. in a much more calm place within you, a much more solid place within you. And so really recognizing where the universe is trying to help you grow and move and flow in life, just going in a much better rhythm and unfolding in a much more mature, beautiful, thoughtful way. Okay, to end this, let's get a few um, tarot cards just to see anything else Spirit wants to push through that we may have missed or just added context here. Eight of error. Oops. So we've got two cards here. So seven of error, eight of error, seven of error, fool. Yep, I love this trajectory. Um, I'm actually just going to do three. These are kind of bigger tarot cards. So. Um, eight of error, seven of error to fool. So moving, you know, a little, just like a little bit more insight into this trajectory, you are moving from feeling a little bit trapped in certain mindsets or in certain ways of feeling even like belonging or in feeling kind of, um, like you have a story you want to break out of, you have patterns you want to, to be able to push your boundaries into seeing with different perspective, new perspective, feeling some kind of expansion come in your life and it's like something around this has felt really constricting and limited and unable to break out of something here. And you're finding that key and confronting that this month that it's, really about you just owning you your energy it's all back to this self-mastery and it's about shutting off what everyone else is doing saying thinking being and really getting back into you and like what do you want and maybe it goes against the grain maybe it's a little bit you know marching to the beat of your own drum maybe it's a little different but that's what it's going to take for you to shift this and to get into self-mastery and to get into that more divine timing, divine flow, and those divine channels that help our life really move and soar and flourish. And it's like, yeah, I'm going to turn off all of the chatter, all of the periphery stuff, all of that paying attention to who's doing what, what's happening where, what information's coming out right now, and just getting into what is the, what is your direction right now. Tuning out of that and tuning into you and stepping into you and moving through you and that. And it's really opening. I love seeing Fool right next to Gateway. That's like the ending message here. Really stepping into... Um, yeah, just like a new way of being, um, doors opening, your external life starting to mirror to you that something new is happening, that you're on a new pathway. Yeah, gorgeous. So really cool energy for you guys. Really cool work for you guys in this month. Um, I hope this resonated and I always appreciate the things like share, subscribe, and I always appreciate you know, I'm really grateful to see kind and thoughtful comments. It's fun to hear from you guys as well. So this is where I'm going to leave you. And I wish you a beautiful August. Um, and yeah, have a beautiful day wherever and whenever you are. Hello, Pile 2. Welcome to your reading for August 2023. You guys picked the Adventuring with Create Your Own Luck. And I'm using this card as kind of the cornerstone that um, as you move through or journey through this month of August, this is kind of the thing that's pushing you from where you start to where you're going to end up. Um, so we are going to pull some animal archetype cards to see what that trajectory, where you're starting and where the energy of August is pushing you. So that wanted to flip over, starting with the moth energy. And ending. Oops, this wants to come out. 
towards lamb. I love that shift. And I love all the greens coming through to match this, uh, you know, green of entering energy too. So create your own luck moving from moth from the start of August to lamb at the end of August. Um, this is an interesting energy coming through um, that I'm feeling. I'm trying to find the right articulation of what, what that is. So to start with, in a very top level general sense, there's something about coming into August where I think you're kind of like distracted, you're really having a hard time maybe focusing, um, but feeling kind of this flow of, of creative inspiration sort of bubbling here and bubbling there and you're just kind of like, you know, oh, I need to take care of this and I need to take care of this and oh, what about that? And oh, that looks fun and this looks fun and oh, I need to create some plans here and um, orchestrate this and so it's like, um, it's like something is coming together. I think you are creating something around some luck you're feeling, but it's like, it's like when you first jump into um, some new exciting thing, you have to orient yourself. And I feel like that's where you're at. You're trying to find some orientation and something that's got you feeling excited. Um, and so you're just like all over the map with it. And you literally maybe like it might um, that's funny that that came out of my mouth because I was thinking of something in my own life that could relate to that and that does relate to maps like I'm planning a big overseas trip in the fall and it's somewhere I've never been and so I'm trying to orient myself and it's like okay well I want to see this and this and this and this and this what about that and it's like okay well obviously I can't do it all so what are the priorities and now I have that so what's my route so I need to get hotels and in each of those places you know so like trying to like then distill once I have my route and I feel that moth energy like this could end up being my you know my pile too, <laughs> but I'll try not to project my own stuff here. But I feel that like there's something exciting and you're just like immersed in the detail of it and it's very distracting and you're just trying to make sense of this world, put something together in this like world that you're creating. And so like maybe it could even be like you're writing a fantasy novel and it's like you're all over the map with like literally creating a map and you're all over the place with it because you're like oh i need this element and that element and yeah and so i just feel like it's it's a little bit distractible there's a lot of stuff coming in that's how i feel the start of, of the month for you and however you want to relate it um, but something that feels exciting that you're like creating or planning or um yeah, trying to create some some movement or creation around and it's just sort of like a little bit all over the place. And I think it's okay. It's okay for things to be a little chaotic when you're first creating or planning something. That's part of a process. But by the time you get to the end of August, it's like you're gonna find a way to come into a much more calm, much more gentle energy where your soul is really speaking to you and directing you instead of just like taking in information everywhere and absorbing every little thing that comes in. It's like you suddenly drop it. It's like you have all the information you need maybe by like the midpoint of August and then you drop into yourself and you start to feel what's right and everything starts to come together through a more soulful direction, through a more intuitive direction, as well as through synchronicities. I think you're gonna feel these things of like, my intuition is telling me this, and then you're going to, as soon as you listen to that and feel it and sort of like, yeah, that feels right, you're gonna get like immediate external confirmations through like divine messages. So look for synchronicities, look for messages, but it's like all of the plotting or planning or creating or molding or whatever it is that has some excitement around it will start to calm and the superfluous, the stuff that's just 
distracting and it isn't really actually important is going to start to fall away and everything's going to start to kind of like come together out of this nebula of chaos into an actual like star that's um that has its orientation that has its purpose that has its direction that has its um meaningfulness um yeah, that's coming from like a much more soulful as well as spiritual place and this openness to like, yeah, um, being a little bit more divinely guided instead of like feeling like you need to, to take everything in and control some, some creation or information or whatever. It's like, um, yeah, just dropping into a much quieter, soulful, divinely, spiritually inspired place and just like knowing the right channels knowing the right paths and everything's calming down and feeling gentle and feeling beautiful and then really feeling lucky i feel like at the start of the month it's like yeah i'm molding something that feels exciting it could be great but if i don't do it right it could be a disaster and then by the end of the month it's like no it's just right i'm calm about it it's gonna be great this is coming together and i'm just in a flow with it now that's what i feel Okay, let's get um, a layer deeper here on each side, some more context. So for the moth, we have forgiveness. And for the lamb, we've got focus. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, the forgiveness I'm feeling in the context of where we've been with this moth energy is is like it's like this um, sometimes when we get into frenetic energy and overwhelm and overdrive we can get like a little bit snippy we can get a little bit frustrated especially with ourselves um, and a little bit sort of like, oh my gosh, I'm not going to organize this right. I'm not doing it right. Um, yeah, and it's sort of like coming into this more self-compassionate place of like, you know, it's okay. I, I'm jumping into something I don't know. And I'm just going to allow, it's like that thing that happens when you will feel that shift from mothness to lambness is like this new self-compassion coming in of like yeah nothing's going to be perfect here i could take in years more information on this thing that i'm excited about and it still won't be perfect and so i just need to find that cutoff point of when I'm starting to get too wound up, taking in too much information, unable to focus. And I'm just gonna say, you know what? It's time to, to draw that line. I've, I've taken in all of the distractible, excitable information I need to take in and it's time to be more gentle with myself and say this thing, whatever I'm excited about, it's just time to anchor into it, to drop into it, to stop taking in new information, new distractions, and drop into myself. And you'll feel this like new self-compassion, this new gentleness come in, forgiveness for anything you've been frustrated about, forgiveness for um, feeling angsty or anything about like not having enough of something, enough resources, enough information, enough um, history, enough connection, whatever it is. And you're like, it is where it is. And I'm going to forgive anything in me that is feeling like I'm not, this isn't enough yet. And just say it is. It is where it is. It's, this is where the line needs to be drawn to just start dropping into myself and trusting. That forgiveness is like about trusting yourself, that you have what you need, you have all the tools you need, and now it's time to just sort of trust that more intuitive voice. And it will come with, yeah, just this softer feeling for yourself, letting go of some things, um, 
dropping into just like a more gentle space with yourself and like, you know, at some point I just need to trust a certain divine flow here um, that I'm being taken where I'm supposed to be taken at this juncture. Yeah, so that's beautiful. And then once you do that and you drop into that more gentle place and kind of cut off the distractions, get a little more focused, especially on just like those intuitive stirrings, those intuitive messages, um, some sort of divine flow as well. It's like the focus clicks in and you're like, oh, the whole purpose of what this is, is this. And so it doesn't need to be organized so, or created so intricately and extravagantly. It's like, this is actually the one, like there's a main purpose here. And it's like, you're gonna drop into that. And that's where the luck will start to unfold and some magic will start to unfold. Is yeah, when you find that cutoff line of like, okay, I just need to trust something right now that's bigger than me. And just drop into that intuition and that cosmic divine flow and that focus will drop in and everything's gonna make sense and come together through that focus. And everything's gonna feel much more gentle, much more magical, much easier. Um, and sort of the thing of like, I have what I need to have and now I need to just trust that universal flow will take me where it's needing to take me because there's something, there is some like kind of cosmic kismet thing going on here. And so it's like in, in August at some point, like midway through, it's like you're going to drop into that trust of like, okay, well, this is like a kismet thing. So I need to stop controlling it and just drop into that. Like this is being divinely directed. And you'll know at that point when that is, what that is. And it will feel really beautiful to be able to let go into that. Okay, now we're going to get um, a little bit more context through these oracle cards of kind of the journey from here from mothness to lambness might help us to see when or how that transition happens so we've got all the glitters <laughs> that is that is the most perfect card to come under the moth that distraction, all that glitters is not gold, but it's shiny and exciting. And, yeah. Um, perfect. Yeah, this is beautiful. Um, yeah, I'm feeling like coming into month. It is all that glitters feels like gold and you're going to be collecting all of the glitter that's, you know, and at some point you're going to be like, okay, I'm just collecting glitter now. <laughs> And it's just a bunch of distraction. And so now I need to drop into, it's time to draw the line. I've done all the, I've gathered all the things I need to gather. And now it's time to drop into some peacefulness, some decompression, let things settle, sit, rest. And through that, through that restfulness, through that kind of decompression of taking in so much, you'll feel, um, it's not like a, you know, I usually would say like a mindfulness practice will help you drop into your center and then feel what, what the important things are. But it's more through like resting, something more magical. It's like everything starts to congeal just through resting. And so it has this more magical, ethereal quality around it and um, things will just come together once you just feel like you've gathered all you need to gather or done all the research or the planning you need to do. And it's like, just decompress and take a breath now and everything will really beautifully start to orchestrate and congeal. And then as you come out of the month, it's like, Yes, the direction, we have it both here. These both have like a direction, a focus, things coming into line, things coming into alignment. If there are other people involved in what this would relate to for you, it's like everyone's suddenly on the same page, going the same direction. Um, if it's more a solo thing, it's sort of like all of the tensions within you find that 
harmonious direction and all these pieces of you that are like what about that but that and I can't do both and this part of me wants to do this and this part of me wants to do this and um, it all will find it will all come into alignment and you'll have your just really clear focused direction and it will feel right it will feel written in the stars it will feel beautiful okay let's see um, from the elemental realm any other messages it wants to bring up about this trajectory clarity mountain yeah saying that um, when you feel that that switch turn in you that it's time to stop being distracted and time to kind of like decompress and let things settle and like you really need to take naps that's when you're going to be in that transition phase from moth to lamb and clarity will come through rest through decompressing through letting things just settle and not trying to control or tinker or just giving things room to breathe and settle um, completion west yeah and as you do that it's like certain keys will just come to you to put finishing touches on whatever this exciting thing is that you're planning, creating, moving, whatever it is. It's like through that restfulness, through extra sleep, through dreaming, through just letting things have space to breathe, it comes together and any little missing piece that is like the key to clicking everything into alignment and finding that really ethereal beautiful magical flow just arrives and it's like aha it's like epiphany comes focus sets in alignment sets in magic sets in beautiful okay to end this we're just going to get a couple of tarot cards anything else that spirit wants to bring through five of earth Chariot, and messenger of air right under this lamb, which does talk about message, you know, messages coming to you, divine messages coming to you. Yeah, so what I see here is this need as you jump into the month of that needing to like, um, like being distracted by so much and like trying to get all the information or orientation or putting all these pieces together, that kind of thing, um, is kind of coming from this place of like, and I was picking up on it before, like something's not enough, like I don't have enough. It's this feeling of scarcity, like I'm not informed enough, I'm not, um, seeing all the things I need to see. This isn't like coming into focus and it's coming from this place of scarcity. But at some point, you just have to kind of realize that you have all the pieces you need. There could be a million more pieces to add into it. But for right now and for what spirit is wanting you to get from whatever this means to you that we're talking about, you have what you need and um, a new trust needs to be found and just dropped into and you'll feel this shift click in when you're able to just stop gathering stop planning stop tinkering yeah it feels like tinkering like when you're able to stop tinkering that's when you know you've shifted out of some sort of scarcity thing and into this like oh this is more divinely orchestrated and guided than i thought it was and so now i can pull back, rest, and kind of catch that current that is actually in control here. Because it's like coming into this recognition of like, I'm actually really not in control of this. Something much bigger is. And so what I need to do is back off, get some rest, and let things, again, just going back to what I've said, let things settle, let things congeal. And then it will like your intuition, your your soul, your inner self, as you do that and really go a little bit more inward, um, is gonna click for you. Be like, oh, this is what's actually happening here. This is what spirit wants. This is where I'm being guided. 
and yeah so now I can just like everything just moves from that point forward beautifully because you're in alignment with what spirit is trying to do instead of trying to tinker and control things it's like um this is something that is much more divinely guided. Um, and if you get in touch with your soul, it, it knows that. It can recognize that and it can help you to, to align with that and flow with it. And this is just confirmation messenger of air that there are messages coming in for you. Synchronicities, messages from people outside of you that feel like confirmations. Um, so once you're dropped into this a little bit more surrendered place and aligned place, that's when these messages will come in and those will be confirmation to help you know you're on the right track and something more magical is happening here. So a little bit of a mysterious reading. I hope that um, those of you that are here know, because I, I feel like it's different for everybody. Um, but hopefully you connect with what that is for you. If not yet, you know, give it a couple days into August and maybe that will like click in for you. Um, but yeah, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. Uh, I always appreciate the things. If this resonated, the like, share, subscribe. Always very grateful to hear from you guys with kind and thoughtful little comments. And have a beautiful August and a beautiful day wherever and whenever you are. Hello, Pile 3, you guys, for your August 2023, chose Celestite, Soothe Your Soul. So in this reading, this is kind of the anchor point, the cornerstone of what is moving um, you from where you start in August through to a journey of where you, um, where August is trying to move you. Um, so we are going to pull some animal archetype cards to see what that trajectory, what that arc through the month is or journey. So starting out in dolphin, which is beautiful energy and moving through an arc toward, mm, it's not wanting to come out, toward bear. Interesting, so kind of water energy to earth energy. Very fascinating, soothe your soul. Okay. I can't help but notice in both of these cards, kind of this um, vibration coming from an epicenter, so like for this, I think it's like the, the dolphin noises, but it's kind of like an echo. And then with the bear, it's like, I think this is like sun and sunrise. So like rays of light coming from a source. Um, these are such interesting energies to connect. I'm trying to find that through line here. Um, I. You know, I do feel, to, you know, the bear has a lot to say about like waking up to a new spring. And so that is going to have a lot to do with how I'm reading where you're starting with dolphin. I'm feeling this sense with dolphin of searching for something, um, seeking something and using that kind of um, sonar uh, quality that dolphins have to kind of like almost like bats, like echolocate something. It's like there's something you're trying to find like deeper in your soul that you're trying to wake up. You're trying to wake something up in you. Oh, and going back to like soothe your soul, there's something your soul is um, in your soul that's trying to wake up or that you're trying to wake up in your soul. That's what I'm feeling like the trajectory is this month. So you go from that seeking, that echolocating, that, um, kind of, of of moving with more of like a watery flow to try and um, orient something in you that you're trying to wake up. Um, 
Yeah, and the dolphin has a lot to do with some healing energy too. You may need to do some energetic healing as you begin this month to help soothe something in your soul, which would help wake then wake something up in your soul. So there is like a transition coming in here, uh, like transcending. This is an arc of transcending, like something in your soul I think is is needing some decompression, some rest. It's trying to end something in order to like rebirth into a new cycle. Um, yeah, and so I, I feel like engaging in very energetic, energetically healing practices this early in the month, the first two weeks of the month would be really beneficial for you yoga, Reiki, Tai Chi, any other energetic healings, shamanic healings, um, go on some, you know, go into YouTube and listen to like some guided meditations and journeys, things that really get you into kind of a restful, imaginal, um, spiritual, ethereal place. Um, that soothes you, that lets you decompress from some certain, certain things to find some meaning about whatever you've been through that's on your mind as you step into August. Because you're meant to kind of move through it, let it go, soothe something that's coming to the end of a life cycle, kind of letting things go. And by the end of August, like waking up to like a new cycle of something on a soul level. Whatever that means for you guys, I think it might be a little different for each of you. So I'm not getting like really concrete examples coming through. I was trying to see if something would come through on a concrete example, but it's not. Um, so I just think that if you've come to this pile, you probably know what that is for you. Something's decompressing and it's time to yeah, soothe that, to allow the decompression, to give in to the decompression, um, to let some healing come through because that will allow you to have like a rebirth. Yeah, okay. Let's get a little more context on each side here. Maybe that will shed a little extra light. <laughs> Inner peace, yeah, two water creatures here, dolphin and koi fish. It's time to dream to go on some inner journeys, to spend some inner time. Yeah, it just, it just feels like a time of going inward, of resting, of, of yeah, just some, some energetic healing time, giving yourself, giving yourself space and time to, to dream, to daydream, to do little journeys and meditations and sleeping and yeah, whatever. And then something's going to wake up in you by the end of the month. <laughs> and we have a rebirth. Okay, so this may be generally like the people that have come to this reading may generally relate to dolphin as like a power animal or a soul animal or some sort of your your one of your animal guides. And there's something about that quality in you that's exhausted right now, that's coming to the end of something. And it's time to let that dolphinness that's a little bit about joy and happiness and healing. So maybe you're even a healer, but it's time to like um, just decompress from certain things or practices you've been doing or how much you've been working and just like, just relax. And by the end of August, you'll snap back into new, fresh dolphin energy, new, um, new focus, new passion, new energy for healing, for happiness, for a lightness, for a spiritual connection to come through. Yeah, that is what is being felt here. Okay, we are going to do some oracle cards to see a little bit about this trajectory from, from this um, healing of dolphin -y energy into that new awakening. Time to go. And I feel like that is time to go inward, time to go towards rest, time to decompress. 
time to go into the ethereal realm. That's where it feels like she's going in this card. Time to go into um, out of space and time, out of your real world. Time to have some escapism, This, this at least the first half of the month. Oops. Yin. Yeah, it's time to rest. It's time to just drop into some pleasure, some self-care, some receptivity. Just let things be. <laughs> I don't know why that came through really strong. Let things be. And then clean it up. And this is when, this is how you're going to know that you're coming into the new awakening and the new rebirth is like when we come to the end of a life cycle of something and to me it feels like for a lot of you your dolphinness has been through a life cycle and when we get to the end of a life cycle of something things get really porous boundaries really big boundaries and really complex and the only way to handle all of that complexity is to surrender to find some calm centering and surrender and it can invite in a lot of shedding of life, of old things, which creates a little bit of, it feels like chaos. Um, and you just kind of have to let things fall apart around you, honestly. Um, that's part of the life cycle process at the end, is like letting things sort of be messy, letting them fall apart, and letting yourself be a little escapist in that moment when you feel like it's shedding and there's not really anything you can do the what you're going to feel when you're having that new awakening that new rebirth of your dolphinness coming out of of a deep winter type slumber and some chaos and messiness and healing um is all of a sudden this spring cleaning mode coming on. Time to out with the old, out with the debris, out with what's already fallen apart, and time to create some new order. And you're gonna feel that spark come alive. So don't push yourself to do it, it will come on. Um, time to spring clean and create new order and um, out with the old to make room for the new that's coming in the new fresh dolphinness energy <laughs> really cool and it's definitely because you know life cycles especially when it relates to like an essence part of ourselves can be very long-term things so i feel like maybe you're already in this mode of like things kind of around this part of you not around life as a whole, around this part of you feeling overwhelmed and messy and exhausted and a bit chaotic. Um, it, the, these life cycle, cycles, if they're part of our, in relation to a part of our essence, um, can be very long ones. So you may have even been in this mode for like a year or months. Um, and this is saying that this is the month when you will wake up to the rebirth. So just hang in there. So I feel like this may for some of you just be confirmation of like, hang in there, you got this, keep decompressing, keep letting go of whatever's wanting to go. Um, that rebirth is really, really, really close. Okay, we're going to get some extra layer of messages from the elemental realm, see what they have to say about all of this. So we've got bravery and oceans. Yeah, and I do relate that like end of life cycle to like a Pisces energy, which rules the ocean. Um, and so it's just like, let the flow of life come in. It's going to overtake you a little bit. It's going to feel like you're out of space and time a bit. Um, and it's just like uh, what I was feeling before, this confirmation of be brave about being in this space. It's not always easy to be in a really surrendered, chaotic, 
uh, end of a life cycle. It can be, you ha sometimes have to be brave to be escapist, to let things sort of fall apart, to allow endings to come in. Um, it's like let go of control here. There is no control at the end of a life cycle that is in cosmic hands. And so trust that oceanic feeling, trust that more spiritual things are engaged right now and kind of surrender into it. Be brave enough to just surrender into it because you're at the end of this. And then moving towards companionship and animals, beautiful. So that's another thing that you may see starting to come through when that new rebirth is hitting is like um, more so than like a lot of animals <laughs> coming through um, is that feeling of life waking up around you. You know how in spring it's like all the animals come out, all the little creatures are being born. It kind of will have that essence feeling. It may not be literally like that, but an essence of like things are wake, like life and earth and people and things are waking up around you and that's reflecting internal waking up. Um, so once you kind of feel like life is waking up around you, um, it's a reflection of your dolphin-ness energy rebirthing into a new cycle and that new cycle being here. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, to end, we're gonna pull a few tarot cards just for anything, last messages that Spirit wants to bring through here. To a fire, yeah. You're trying to orient, like a new cycle is coming through here for your, your dolphin essence. <laughs> and you're trying to find that orientation. It's not totally clear yet, and it's not supposed to be. So just relax about that. And then we've got nine of water. Yeah, again, just surrender into, the more you can surrender into the bigness of what, is feeling like it's uncontrollable right now and just surrendering into that, the more you're going to find um, the meaning behind things, certain understanding setting in, inspiration coming through, bubbles of visions of what is going to come, even though you can't quite grasp it, you'll get these moments of like, oh, this there's this feeling coming through that I think is going to be a part of this next cycle. The more you can just drop into the flow and surrender into kind of letting this life cycle end, the more, yeah, you're gonna find meaning and understanding and new little visions about what's coming. And then for a fire, it's just absolute confirmation that that new cycle coming in is gonna feel so just like vital, alive, stable, and a reflection of amazing work done in the past cycle. Um, you know, because we're always building on top of, of past cycles and it's just like really stable, passionate, celebratory energy coming for the new cycle. What the new cycle is going to be about is what I feel like. Yeah, gorgeous. I mean, that's a big message coming through. I, I do feel like this is something that's been been kind of that you've been feeling uh, at least for several months, if not like a year. Um, yeah, and this is a month where that that switch is coming, that rebirth. So huge. All right, this is where I'm going to leave you guys. If it resonated, I always appreciate the things like share, subscribe. I'm always grateful to hear from you guys with, you know, kind and thoughtful comments. Um, yeah, and I hope you have a beautiful August and a beautiful day wherever and whenever you are. All right, see you guys. Hello, Pile 4. Welcome to your August 2023 reading. You guys picked this Malachite card. It's time to transform. And this card is what I'm going to use as sort of like the through line about your August reading that's giving us what it is that is giving you kind of an arc, a journey, a trajectory through the month. There's something that is in its moment 
of coming into its transformation, moving from chrysalis to butterfly is what I'm feeling here. Um, so you may have been in a transformation mode for some time, like in that chrysalis type of feeling. Um, but this month, the you'll break out of that that chrysalis and your transformation will come through. So we are going to see where you start in August and where you end, which will give us a little bit of an arc about what this transformation is about. Okay, so to start, as you step into the vibration of August, you will be in deer energy, beautiful. And then this time to transform, the transformation coming through will have you stepping by the end of the month into the frog. Look at all these beautiful greens here. I just think of such fresh energy with green. And so what I'm seeing here this transformation, I think, has to do with something being born into your life. The deer speaks a lot about like um, parents of a newly birthed child and feeling that, that gentleness, that tenderness, that awe. And so I'm using that as a metaphor. I think there's something that you've been working really, really hard on and it's it births this month, it comes into being this month with that same kind of reverence um, that you feel about that, that gives you kind of this, this aura that, that is an undeniable aura seen by everybody. Um, yeah, there's something that you're birthing and it's really going to um, give you a new, kind of skin. It's going to um, help you to feel yourself as new, feel your skin as new. You may even be going through like a physical transformation this month. Um, yeah, but it's something that's like apparent. There's something you're birthing, a new glow up, a new... Um, Maybe there's some artistic thing you've been kind of working on behind the scenes or down in your depths that now feels like it's ready to kind of like show or it could literally be that you're having a baby for some of you. Um, but something, yeah, something births and it really transforms you. It see, you're gonna see yourself in a new, in new, I just keep saying new skin, in new skin, refreshed, revitalized, um, holier skin, that's what comes up, holier skin, um, yeah, beautiful, I don't, I mean, it, I think it's different for each of you what this is, but it feels yeah, it does. I mean, it feels like whatever does happen, even if it's not a physical transformation, it does feel like a glow up in a sense of like you being able to feel yourself as different, feel yourself in your skin as more um, vital, as more refreshed. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's get a little bit more context on each side. Solitude and abundance <laughs> yeah something wow this is kind of mysterious but it um yeah there's something that you are really you've been really tending to deep within yourself um deep in a yeah a place of solitude i don't think you've shared this with a lot of people or even if it's something people know about, you've really kept to yourself about your process with it. There's been a lot going on inside of you that you've been trying to kind of congeal, bring something together. Um, but yeah, it's, it's coming out of you this month though. All of that really deep, beautiful, 
the word holy keeps coming up to me. Holy work. And it doesn't have to be about something holy. Um, but there's a reverence around this. Um, and it's coming out this month. This transformation is a holy transformation, meaning it's huge. It's, um, it's literally like stepping into a new skin by letting some something out of you that you're you've been really in a private way um, incubating and getting ready to birth and it's yeah it's gonna put you in a much more abundant um, abundant way of being yeah, it's like your way of being just shifts and it's much more refreshed and much more holy and much more abundant. Interesting. I would love to hear in the comments what this, if you feel inclined to share, because I do feel there's a lot of privacy here, but if you feel inclined to share, even if it's in a few weeks from seeing this, I'd love to hear what these might be about for some of you. It's probably different for each of you, but um, okay, so we're looking at the trajectory through oracle cards from this deer to the frog. So here and now, loyal hearts, message in a bottle. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I think you've worked really hard to be present to be in the moment, to whatever you are um, creating inwardly. Um, yeah, I just think you're really present to it. Again, it feels holy. You've been very present to it through your heart as well. And it's been a very, something you've come at in a very heart-centered way. Um, very committed to yourself, coming from a place of deep self-love. Um, it's giving you new keys to the world, to who you are in the world, new access to what you have access to in the world by, by doing this deep, deep inner creation that you've been doing. And then we've got message in a bottle. I think once you let it out, whatever this is, or kind of show it, show this new skin, this creation, this new birth, whatever it is. It's like, um, this has been traveling in like a very ethereal way through like space and time. Um, the vibrations of it, the aura of it. And even though it's been in solitude, it's reached things that, um, are far in space and time from you. And as you put it out, these messages that may seem miraculous or divinely orchestrated as they come in, like divine timing that's very just immaculate almost, <laughs> um, it's because the energy of what you've been creating has already kind of been reaching through space and time. And so messages are already on their way back to you. Um, yeah, so there's there are messages or opportunities or openings that are going to be coming through like right as you put something out and it's going to feel like kismet. But it's like you've already had the vibration of whatever this is, you've kind of let that vibration, even though it's been private in your like day-to-day -day life, that vibration has really traveled somewhere and is bringing back a message for you, an opening, an opportunity, something. Uh, but it's going to feel a little bit miraculous and um, almost like you've won the jackpot, but something kismet about it very interesting very mysterious reading you guys um okay we're gonna get some messages from the elemental realm about 
this trajectory. The soul and passion. Yeah, this is absolutely coming from the soul. Whatever creation is ready to come out this month. A whole world has been created inside of you. And then building atoms. Yeah, you've really... Wow, there's something really deep within you. You've been building for a long... This is like a long time. And on like a cellular level, you've been shifting, you've been creating on a cellular level, you've created whole worlds within you. And it's time for this to be shown. It's almost like you've really kept this completely inside of you though. Um, but I think it needed to be for it to be what it's going to be. <laughs> I think that will probably make sense to you guys. But it's, it's like it's time for it to, yeah, to come out this month or to at least receive messages about it and feel yourself transformed due to it. Um, but yeah, you've been building at the atomic level, at the cellular level. Shift. I do think for a lot of you, this is a glow up. This is like a physical transformation. But for some of you, it could be a creative thing too. Maybe you have both. <laughs> um, okay, anyway. To end the reading, oops, we are going to draw three tarot cards just for any last messages from spirit here nine of earth yeah there's like a self-sufficiency here this has been something you've completely done on your own too um two of water yeah it's deep from your heart deep from your soul Wow, mysterious, you guys. <laughs> Ten of water. Yes, when whatever this is comes out, um, sort of comes into being more outwardly, when the new skin is shown, when the new creation is, is shown, it will be like... Um, Yes, like literally you've composed a whole life, a whole creation, a whole something down in these private holy places. And once it comes out to share, I just get this sense that um, this transformation is going to be like, what? Like, um... It's gonna blow people away. I don't think you, because you've spent so much time with it and so much inward time, and little by little, day by day, month by month, even year by year for a lot of you, I don't think you have any, you know, because when we get so used to something, it's like normal. But the thing is, is you haven't shown any of these steps really outwardly, at least much. And so when it does come outwardly, I think that a lot of people around you are going to be like, what? What in the world? Like just blown away. And the world is going to be so receptive to whatever this is. And it's going to bring just like such harmony, such flow and such abundance to your life. But from this like really peaceful, humble, reverent place and that's part of what makes this so beautiful and transformative once like I almost feel like when other people see it it transforms them as well and what makes it so impactful and so powerful is there is a humility around it so even if this comes out and people adore whatever this is to you there's still this like really grounded, humble thing going on, which makes it so there's not like this jealousy or, 
or um, I don't know it's like it's just coming from such a genuine deep humble place that um, yeah it just it transforms people as much as it's transformed you over however long this has been congealing in you whatever it is <laughs> I don't know which is yeah different for each of you but something is coming out in August and it's very fascinating because I feel like all four readings it's like something's coming out in August some kind of transformation is coming out in August, but for you, this one feels much bigger than the other three. It's like, this thing has been molded and developed and really, really deeply, peacefully, reverently, wholly um, yeah, created over some time here. But yeah, anyway, big, big, interesting energy. So I would love to, if you are willing to share, even if that's later in the month, what this means to you or what it might be about. I'm very curious. <laughs> so this is where I'm going to leave you guys. If it resonated, I always appreciate the things, the like, share, subscribe. Um, I'm always grateful and excited to hear from you guys as well with kind and thoughtful comments and definitely have a miraculous August and a beautiful day wherever and whenever you are. All right, see you guys.